So today I'll just be making a three blind walkthrough solve. Uh, I used turbo for edges and three style slash old Pokemon for corners. I haven't completely switched to three style yet. There's still a few cycles that I use old Pokemon for. And I'm making this because I noticed there aren't that many videos on YouTube about the turbo method for edges. And I think it's a really good method and it can be uh, faster than M2 and almost as fast as someone that uses three style. And also there's a lot of discussion between whether the UF buffer, buffer is better or the DF buffer. And since Turbo uses UF, that leaves you open to using the UF buffer. Uh, so I'll just start. I memo corners first. Oh, before we get into that, uh, the scramble is on the screen on my computer. So I'm going to focus the camera on that for a couple seconds and let you pause the video. I scrambled in my orientation, which is yellow top red front. So you can pause the video and scramble your cube. And when you get back, it should look something like this. Uh, if you have a different orientation than me, it, the colors will be different, but you should have a solid line here, and actually these three solved edges, which is a very nice scramble. So I, mem I memorize corners first, so we'll start, this is my buffer. So this goes to here, so that's I. I use Spef's lettering scheme. So I to C, so itch, random sound, itch, this goes to here. That's S, so itch, S, S goes to O, itch, so, and then M, but that's my buffer, so I have to break into new, a new cycle. Itch, so, M, and then I look at the pieces that haven't been solved, and I notice that they're twisted, so that's my corner memo, itch, so, M. So, it's just a sentence like itch, so, much, but the much is just an M, so I know I have parity, but I gotta look at these two so I remember to twist them and I remember this one is facing me so I'm gonna set the buffer up to here and then twist all three of them with R prime D prime you know like the beginner method algorithms uh, I can start edges now so remembering that itch so much and then this faces me so this is my buffer because I use turbo so this goes to here so that's R but that's my buffer piece, so I have to break into a new cycle. So R, I'll just shoot to this one, R, T, root, and then this goes to here, which is Q, but I use a TH sound for Q. So root, this, root, this, because this goes to there, root, this, root, this, of, root, this, of, and then here, root, this, of, packs, root, this, of, packs, and then back to T. So RIT, so L, R prime to set them up, and then U perm, undo, this, so that's this to this, of, this to this, the setup moves would be R2, D prime, L2, now it's just U perm, and then packs, so that's this to this sticker to this sticker, so R to set this one up, and then L2, the algorithm, L2, R prime, and then last target, R prime, and then I do a, uh, what's it called, a Z perm, because that swaps these two and these two, so that I can do my last uh, corner target as an old Pokemon algorithm, so, and then under the setup move. Now I'm ready to start corners, so my corner memo was itch so much, or itch so m, so that's this to this, this to this to this. Um, this is a bad case, I don't really know how, how I would do it, or if I would just be lazy and use old Pokemon, but I'll try to figure it out. Uh, I think I'd rotate and use the five move thing that switches uh, pieces that are opposite to each other. So I do D, R2, U, R2, U prime, R2, D prime, R2, U, R2, U prime, R2. So there we have these two pieces solved. Itch, so, so that's this to this. So I do Y2 and then U, R, U prime, R prime, D, R, U, R prime, D prime, U prime, and then rotate back. And then my last target's M, itch so much. So R2, old Pokemon, 
and then cancel do r prime and now i'm already rotated like this and i remembered this is going to be facing towards me so b prime and then Oh. and there's the solve uh, thanks for watching I hope if you use turbo uh, that helps you out uh, if you don't use turbo I recommend you check it out if you use old Pachman, uh it's a pretty interesting method and it's actually in my opinion a lot easier to learn than M2 uh, and it, in my opinion it's also faster than M2 and it gives you this buffer which I've heard has nicer commutators, but I haven't started learning edge comms. So, yeah, thanks for watching.